Good morning, folks. Observer Vacation Week is over. Our Saturday Fly in the Wall podcast returns today at suspiciousobservers.org, and we've got several things to discuss here today, starting with our star and geomagnetic conditions. The sun had several minor filament destabilizations, but no further CMEs in Earth's direction. Do have that coronal hole on the north there, which will amplify solar wind this week. But solar wind amplified yesterday as well. Looks like a combination of that small CME we'd been expecting and the heliospheric current sheet impact, which was enough to pull a lowest level geomagnetic storm overnight. Minor event in its entirety. Before rolling on, yes folks, we really did take the first vacation of ours in many years. The kids got to see Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where most of my own childhood vacations were spent. We had a wonderful time and that goes double for the kids. We truly appreciate your patience and understanding in our first week off in over a decade, even if I did show up for the morning show three times in the middle of it. But now we're back and let's trigger people as fast as we can. Well, I don't know how most of you are feeling about the Supreme Court right now, but specifically on their EPA ruling, it's golf claps all around from observers. One of the core foundations of this channel is the folly of modern climate science and in fact, We've got a playlist for that as well. If you are new here and can't imagine why we cheer that ruling, watch the playlist found below the video in the description box and in that vein. Some scientists just never learn. NASA's new satellite to monitor the sun is said to be set to see all the energy the sun sends our way. But no, it won't. It's just the total solar irradiance, the light. As has been the downfall of that scientific field all along, can't see the protons, electrons, the interplanetary magnetic field, and it will therefore miss the lion's share of what they were trying to find. All that about the particles they are missing is in that playlist as well below the video. Update to the stellar encounters. Folks, they found a white dwarf they say will cross through the outer Oort cloud in approximately 29,000 years. It's far afield from their previous mark, one expected in about a million years, and sadly for those ensnared by the false Nibiru stories, this new survey can see all the small stars nearby, and there's nothing here now or coming anytime soon. Lastly, folks, another galactic survey team who doesn't have the galactic current sheet in their toolbox. Turns out the interstellar medium of plasma and gas and dust has a preferred magnetic handedness, and they can't figure out its physical origin. Veteran observers, stop laughing for a moment. This is a pervasive aspect of the entire galaxy driven by its overall magnetic field and interstellar connections threading the galactic current sheet. That's the Milky Way version of the Sun's current sheet, which hit Earth this morning if you can remember about two and a half minutes ago. It's also the thing that triggers the great solar system shift, Earth's catastrophe cycle, solar micronova, and the next stage of Earth. By the way, that was the entire topic of conversation between myself and Matt Lohmeyer, Fun interview we did there while I was on vacation and the videos are posted to his channel today. Link to that is below as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Watch that interview, it was a good one. And those playlists below the video. Seriously, they answer almost every single question I ever, ever, ever see on the topic. Veteran observers, help me remind comment questionnaires where they can find those answers. Again, podcast coming up in a couple hours at suspiciousobservers.org as well. And we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.